this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 135. Where we watch them so you don't have to. And this week it was his choice. Woohoo! And he chose. I had a bloody good time at House Harker. Yes. I thought I'd do it for you because I you. know it's a tough name. I keep, I keep it's messing a, it up. It's a long ass name. Have you guys heard of this movie? Probably not. Probably not. I never had. I just happened to stumble across it, and literally no one else I know has ever mm -hmm. heard of this. 2016, mm -hmm. not rated, 80 minutes long. Short. Short. Yeah. Short and sweet. Yeah. And new. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> true, a couple years. Yeah. So, you know, there's, uh, what's it about? It's uh, about, uh... <laughs> <laughs> this movie was about uh, the Harkers, which if you know your vampire folklore, uh, Dracula... Harker was the guy who helped kill Dracula in the original book. Way back, you know. Ah, way back. Was it for Van Helsing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, so after. he he was with Van Helsing when they killed ah. Dracula. See, I don't know a whole lot about the vampire. Right, movie. right. <laughs> um, and this is his great great grandchildren. Yeah. They escaped to America, um, and werewolf uh, vampires werewolves. <laughs> Yeah. And vampires! <laughs> yeah. So the whole town thinks they're a joke. They don't believe them. They're like, vampires, bullshit, whatever. They make fun of mm -hmm. them all the time. And then real vampires show up. Yep. Like, at the end. He's got <laughs> semen on the mind! So this movie was directed by Clayton Cogswell. Yep. Uh, starred uh, Derek Haugen. <laughs> Jacob Givens. Jacob Givens, Noel Carroll, and, and Whitney Moore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know why we ever talk about that, because we always cut that part, but yeah. these were people. Well, no, we usually keep that in. Do we? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> the stars? I, honestly, I don't watch our show. So, in the vein of, like, Shaun of the Dead, um, Tucker and Dell versus Evil, yep. What We Do in the Shadows. That was yeah, yeah, What We Do in the yeah, Shadows. Yeah. So, yeah, keep that in mind if you're going to watch it. Yes. Um, unlike mm. those movies, nobody's heard of this one. Like, yeah. uh, everybody... Everybody knows about Shaun, uh, Shaun of the Dead. And everyone in the horror community knows about Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Right. But literally, I found no one who knows about this movie. I'd never heard of it until you yeah, told me. Yeah, and it's just weird, weird to me that I found a movie that you've never heard of. I don't like that! <laughs> I do. It made me so happy. I, I like the simplicity of the story. Yeah. It, it, it's not, you know, all this stuff. It's not super complicated. No. Why are they there? Blah, yeah. blah, blah. Who cares? They get to the point and uh, it, they, they do it. Yeah. And it's uh, good. I, I like the way they mix the horror and the comedy. Um, we were talking on the way back. Shaun of the Dead is more horror comedy. This is more comedy horror. There's not as much horror right. in it. The characters, and the acting was it was the it was good. Yeah, and the dialogue goes in with that and the writing because the actors, uh, you know, is written good. Some good joke and the jokes they're good with horror comedy comedy horror theme movies. Really, really funny. Yeah, and they can fall flat, but they do a really good yeah. job in this. And the actors do a good job portraying these characters and making it funny because if you don't have a good actor trying to deliver the lines that they wrote, yeah, it ain't gonna be good. You know, I haven't heard of pretty much any of the, the actors. Yeah, the only one I know of is Whitney Moore, and that's because she was in Birdemic, <laughs> which we did years ago on the show, both of them. But this type of movie, you're, you're like, eh, is it gonna have any blood or gore? This one did. And yeah, I was kind of surprised. Gallons. Yeah, it had a lot. Gallons Ma Mainly of blood. blood, you know, and uh, impalments and stuff like that. And knife and... It was good. It was all practical. It looked good. And there yeah. was a lot. Yeah. A lot of blood. In fact, oh. that was one of the first things I commented on <laughs> towards the beginning. I was like, that's a lot of blood. Yeah. <laughs> the creature effects on the vampire. You know, the main the vampire. The main vampire, That yeah. is where just typical, you know, tooth vampires. Right. But even them, you could see, like, the, yeah. the in their necks and everything. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. No CGI, from what I could tell. No. No, That's, it looked all practical. That's why these, uh, you know, the lower budget indie movies, that's why they're better than yeah. most of these mm, Hollywood BS And, and I even got to say, before the vampires showed up, and I don't want to give anything away, but the one character with the drill... Yeah. Okay, you know exactly what right, I mean. Right. And you guys, when you see this movie, you'll see this too. Like, the amount of blood on that, yeah. and the one character in the background, what he was doing, <laughs> oh my god, freaking hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he was smart. That was a good thinking what he did. 
watch it and you'll know what we're talking about. So I, I kind of want to bring out some of my favorite characters. Yeah. Just because, I mean, this movie was packed with good characters, but Walter, the old man, yeah. holy he was, shit, he was like us when we get old. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was totally how we would be like, oh, yeah, we're fucking vampires. Yeah, he was <laughs> awesome. Hopefully our wives won't be like his, though. Oh, my God, I hope not. <laughs> she was... Mavis! Ooh, Mavis? Awesome. She was something. <laughs> Soul-sucking succubus. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was He was probably my favorite <coughs> part of this movie, is old Walter. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the one that surprised me was Wayne, the cop. Yeah. He, he, was, cop. he was built for you to not like him, but I genuinely loved his character right. at every point. Even when he got frustrated, he was like Mr. Rogers. The whole time. And even <laughs> right. when he got angry, he was like, Dad gummit. Dog got it, yeah. Making me angry. And right. to me, that was just the best. He was so well played. And that actor, man, kudos to him. Right, yeah. I, I was, yeah, he did a good job. N- another surprising favorite character for me, the pencil. <laughs> the pencil was... That, uh... that they turned into a character through the course of this movie. It was fucking... I mean, literally, it, yeah. it was it was a pencil. That's a Sharpie, but, you know, it was a pencil. But, oh, man, it was so funny. Yeah. You know, in school, at least back in the day, not anymore with all these Chromebooks and BS that they do, technology... Jesus, old man. <laughs> I oh, know, no. right? Back in our day, uh, you know, they would tell you the importance of a number two pencil. Yep. That's what you need. This... This movie got it. Yeah. It this, proved it, man. Uh, put a number new, two. That's right. <laughs> number two pencil. Could save lives. Uh, some of the best lines. Uh, I got to take this one because I love that line so much. It's like, I don't want to spend the next five years in prison getting my turd cutter tongue punched. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. What a great. And he, it was just such a throwaway line. He says it so oh, quick and they keep going. And just, oh, don't, don't blink and you'll miss it. Balls, that was good. Turd cutter. I love that one. Um, I really like, this is a post-Twilight vampire movie. Mm. So they acknowledge the existence of Twilight in a roundabout way. They don't call mm. it out. But there is a fake oh. Stephanie Myers-esque character who wrote Twilight-esque movies, sparkly vampires and everything. And they call it out on this. Yeah. And that was so good to me. Because oh, yeah. I fucking hate those books yeah. so much. Yeah, I don't, I've never seen the movies, never read the books. I don't want to. Yeah. I, but mm. they ruin vampires, really. Yeah. Sparkly and... Mm. And this brings them back. Yeah. You know, this brings back, not sparkly ones. No, this brings back real, actual, like, terrifying Nosferatu-style right, vampire. Right. This and The Night Watchman, if you haven't seen that, check that one out. That it does kind of, and they poke too. fun at it, too. Yep. And that's, you know, that's, I, I like that. And the, the main vampire, the makeup effects on him, was a vampire! Yeah, he actually, he reminded me of Count Orloff. From the original Nosferatu yeah. back from the, what, 20s, teens, oh, yeah. 19 teens? Probably, 19 teens. Something like that. That's, but That sounds like a Brazzer scene. No. Oh. 19 teens. There were no boobs in this movie. <laughs> uh, you, you, you can take the rest of that. I've been talking too much. Oh, no, you're good. You were you got that one already. You want to take that one? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the bed set? <laughs> Budget. Oh. <laughs> bed set. The vampire's bed set was awesome. It was beautiful. I loved it. <laughs> so the production value was good. Yeah. You, you know, you never know with the unheard of movies or under the radar movies. Yeah, this was great. You know, we didn't look what the budget was on this. Not in either, but it had to have been pretty decent. Yeah. If not, they, they nailed it. It was all at the house. Harker House. Yeah, House Harker. House Harker. Well, but I mean, you know, I, was, I know. Damn it. See, we got it written there. House Harker. <laughs> I don't like the name of this movie. I love that they alluded to werewolves. Yeah. I just love the, the way they said, oh, they're nothing compared to the werewolves. Yeah. That, I'm a werewolf guy. If it's on Blu-ray, man, I'd buy the blue. I oh, love if, this If it's movie. on blue, I'll buy it. Yeah. You know? I just feel like with some of these movies, they don't put them out on blue and that pisses me off. Why don't you... Because the demand's not there, and that's the thing. I don't it's, care! <laughs> for them to put out movies like this, you need to show that you want them. Yeah. And that's why I'm so excited. I mean, you heard, you were the one telling me that Halloween broke box office records. Oh, it's destroyed it. That's yeah. what we need. That's what our community needs. Thank you guys for listening to us on the episode that hasn't actually been released yet. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's going, true. and watching that movie. Yeah. Because that's what the community needs to get good movies. We're going to get more like this. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. So everyone go buy a copy of this. And maybe they'll get a sequel. Yeah. And if you do go buy a copy of this, tell them stupid movies sent you. I genuinely yeah. fucking love this movie. Yeah, it was, it was good. Um, so, good. W- why don't we talk about what we didn't like? Yeah! Um. <laughs> what didn't we like? <coughs> I don't like that I didn't lie. I like that. <laughs> that failed miserably. Whoa, you want to count? 
thank you. Um, there wasn't a whole lot uh, to dislike about this movie. No. <laughs> I was trying to be funny by saying, I don't like that there wasn't much to dislike. There really was. <laughs> so, uh, very big nitpick. Yeah. I didn't like that the vampire growled. That was a little weird. I, I don't know why, but we saw it from point of view, and it was a... And I'm like... I, especially since in the flashbacks... To yeah. the to like the 1700s to when the original Harker was still alive. Right. They showed the vampire talking. Yeah. I was expecting a more human vampire. Right. I, but I mean that's super nitpicky, man. Because right. I like the vampire that they used, and it was more animalistic and less. See, human. And I like that part. Of it. Yeah. I, I like the less human part. Yeah. You, you know, uh, that's what you know. I'm not a huge vampire fan. Never really have been. He's always been the vampire guy. I'm always the werewolf guy. Yeah. You know, and re one of the reasons I love werewolves because they're, they're not human at all. I, unless you do that crap kind of werewolf. But again, man, super, super right. fucking nitpicky. We had to find something. We, because we have journalistic integrity and we have to talk <laughs> about things that we don't like, yeah, too. Because it's not... It, it, very rarely do you find a movie that is 100% perfect. Right. There almost never is. You, you know what I really hate about this movie? More than anything else, I hate that nobody knows about it. Yeah, see, I don't um, like that. How, you didn't know about yeah, it. Yeah, it went under my radar somehow. And, and like, uh, you're the one who sends me these movies that, like, no one else has ever yeah. heard of. And this was one, like, I found it. And I was, when I was reading the synopsis, I was like, eh, well, you know, maybe it'll be good for a laugh. We can make fun of it or whatever. And I remember, because I watched it before we right. watched it. Yeah. And I remember telling you right afterwards, it's like, we have got to watch this movie. This movie is phenomenal. Yeah, I've, I've never heard of it. Yeah. But... Hey. I hate that no one knows about yeah. this. Sometimes, and hopefully, now at least our ten viewers know about it. <laughs> Go check it out. Uh, sometimes you gotta sift through the crap to find yep. the old ones. You know, I mean, uh, ah, it could have used a little bit more horror thrown in, but yeah, yeah, it didn't need it per se. But that's, I'm just saying that because I need, I needed a little something. more horror. Would be so, fine, you know, yeah. you can always use it a little bit more. And I know um, you didn't like that it was about vampires. I didn't like that it was about vampires. I don't like vampires. <laughs> vampires suck. No, uh, no it's, uh, I like Was that it. a pun? Yeah, mate. Oh. Vampires oh, suck. I didn't even mean to do that. Hey, that's... I win. Oh, crap. Okay, so <laughs> final ratings. Did you have a bloody good time with this? You know what? Fuck it, man. I love this movie. It's getting an irrational number. Ten out of eight. Oh, shoot. This nice. movie was just perfect yeah. to me. In yeah. every single frame, I loved it was good. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, you know, I didn't know anything about it. Yeah. But I, I, eight out of eight. Yeah. You know, it's a good horror comedy. There's some laughs. There's a lot of gore. There's a hot girl. Yeah. Uh, it's got it's everything funny. it needs. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So definitely go check it out. Go get it. Please, we are begging you. Go get this movie. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, shout out of the week. Go check out our friends, the queens of all things horror on Instagram. Is that what that says? Yeah, it's at Quoth Horror. Q-O-A-T-H Horror. Uh, they also started up a YouTube site where they do reviews. Nice. Like us. We can review them reviewing us. Yeah, and they're considerably better looking than us. Well, yeah. So go check them out. Take much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want to see more of us, you can go to Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Instagram at Stupid Movies, at Horror Punk, at Dr. Yes Turner. Go there and do stuff. Bye. <laughs> Uh, uh, spe oh, hold on. Uh, speak of that, just in case we're going to clip it in. cold. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they are putting out an Indiegogo to make the barn, too. Oh, yeah. So. Shout out. Go sh give them money. Yeah. Go support. I did. I couldn't pass it up. Yeah. I had to do it. Yeah. And it's a sweet uh, perk that you get. That's only like the second, mo uh, second movie that we've supported. Yeah. Uh. I did, well. Do you I, know what the other one was? I don't remember. Our name's name. in the credits. Ah, Ninjas vs. Monsters. Yeah! yeah. Ah. See? Mm, support indie horror. Yeah. So this one, go do it. Do the $35 perk, you get a Blu-ray DVD that's going to be in a VHS-style case. Yeah. Uh, and you get your name in the cover uh, credits. Yeah, you get your name in the credits, yeah. you get a soundtrack. Do it if you like the barn, support indie horror. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. There we go. I